Hello, and welcome to a Digital Media Academy how-to, an introduction into Valve's Source Filmmaker. My name is Philip Reeves, and I'm one of the lead instructors here at Digital Media Academy. In this Source Filmmaker how-to, we will focus on the interface and camera movement. Here are the basic system requirements needed to run Source Filmmaker. To download your copy of Source Filmmaker for free, visit www.sourcefilmmaker.com. Now let's get started. Now once you open Source Filmmaker, you're greeted with three options. Create a new session starts a new file for you to create your movie in. Open a recent session brings up a file that you've worked on recently. Right away, you're given three scene files you can start playing with. Meet the Heavy, Meet the Engineer, and Meet the Soldier. They are fully flushed out scene files created to market Valve's game, Team Fortress 2. And later, when you're more comfortable with Source Filmmaker, I recommend playing with these files. Finally, there's Open Session, which serves to open up a file that's not so recent. All right, so I'm going to create a new session and name it. Go ahead and hit Create. Well, right away, we're opened up to three different windows. You've got the primary viewport, timeline, and animation set editor. Back in the primary viewport, I'm going to right click and then drop down to load map. A window pops up with a wide selection of great maps we can work with. Let's start with the lumber yard. Think of a map as a movie set. It serves as the backdrop for our movie. Depending on the speed of your computer, it could take some time for the map to load up. And once a map is loaded, grab your mouse and hold down the left click in the viewer. While holding down the left click, drag your mouse to look around. Looking around the room, we can see a door, and I think it's time to exit through it. Still holding down the left click on the mouse, hit the W key to move forward. Now what's being moved around is the camera. By looking over here, we know that the work camera is selected, and thus far we've only been moving the work camera in a forward direction, hitting the W key. There are many more ways we can move the camera around. But remember, before we can move the camera at all, the left mouse button must always be held down. Now, if you've ever played a game on the PC, you recognize these as the standard movement keys for your characters. Okay, so we know that W moves the camera forward, S moves the camera back, A moves the camera to the left, D moves it to the right, Z moves it up, and X moves it down. Okay, as we move along the map, we can tap the shift key to speed up or hold it down to continuously go fast. Alternatively, hitting the control key brings the camera to a slow crawl. All right, I'm going to find an object. Oh, let's use this rooster. By holding down the alt left click at the same time, when we drag the mouse, the camera will orbit around the rooster. Alt middle click, which is the scroll wheel button on your mouse, will pan the camera while dragging the mouse. Alt right click will dolly in and dolly out again while dragging the mouse. And that's it for the camera movements. Now that you know how to move the camera around, it's a good idea to take some time and master the movement. In Source Filmmaker, you're able to do camera animation, and it's key to know camera movement as it's essential to the quality of the movies you'll be creating. Once you're more comfortable with the program, continue on to the next tutorial in which we'll be going over actors and the timeline. This is just the beginning of Source Filmmaker. Also, if you're interested in learning more about Source Filmmaker, check out the hands-on course Digital Media Academy is offering in which you'll learn all there is about Source Filmmaker and create your very own short film. To learn more, visit www.digitalmediaacademy.org.